What is good friends, we're back with game 2 between Porsche and Teal, they're playing Sun and Moon Oyo here. Um, so let me talk about the teams real quick, since there's a Manta and that means he's not weak to Volcarona. And he can afford to run a slower Scarfa, but I assume it's a Scarf Jirachi, not a Scarf Landris, because this um, this team is quite weak or annoyed by opposing Zygarde Porsche's team. It's also kind of annoyed by stuff like Mimikyu. So defensive Lando obviously makes sense. Um, I got DNC, then either Z-Move Weavile or Z-Move Zygarde. Since he doesn't have Toxic Spike support, um, it's not gonna be the Subprotect Lefty Zygarde. It's either gonna be like Bandit or Z-Move Zygarde. Depending on the Weavile set, the Weavile is either Bandit or Z-Move, I'm thinking. So yeah, Porsche is most likely just gonna go to his um, Mandan here, so Teal doubles out into Megina breaking that. This is most likely a solve as Megina looking at Teal's team because his team is quite weak to opposing Megina. And Ashgren is also annoying for his team because Caldeo can get run down over time. So he's just gonna Volt Switch here. And I assume Porsche is gonna go to, exactly, Jirachi. Because he, he's never gonna risk his Landris there. And this is potentially a Scarf Jirachi. So he goes Hooper, I assume this is a Spec Super. And he switches back into Landris scouting for the Scarf Jirachi. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of that play because he kind of just gave his momentum away. I think he should have just gone... I mean, I, I understand why he made the play. Because um, Porsche is just going to go for rocks here. He has a Yachi very cool. I understand why Porsche, uh, why Teal made that play. Because if he would have gone to um, to Landris and tried to, to, uh, on the Jirachi, he didn't, know, he didn't know the Jirachi set yet. If he went to Landers on Jirachi and Jirachi has something like Icy Wind, that could have been bad for Teal. So going Hooper and scouting for U-turn also works. Like I get he just wants to figure out the set. So um, yeah, going Weeble there covered rocks and covered HPI. So really nice play by Porsche. Teal stays in, there was a fire play breaking the knockoff. Um, knowing that he has a Megina and a Kelly on the back and he was most likely not going to Icicle Crash there. So I assume he's going to go... Um, I don't, I'm not the biggest fan of that play. Uh, I would have most likely gone into Mawile there because if you go into Mawile, it's hard for Porsche to switch in. Uh, now you kind of still have to predict correct because if you scald here and he goes Mantan, you're kind of in a bad position. But also if you double out and he stays in predicting your double, you're also in a bad position. So Teal still has to predict. And if you went Mawile there, he could have just clicked Play Rough or Knock Off. Yeah, he could have just gone Mawile and clicked like, Knock Off or Thunder Punch. That would have been fine. Or like, not nah, most likely Play Rough because you don't want to... Um, you don't want to click T-Punch when there's a land on the back. So I feel like Mawile would have been the better play there, but we'll see. Because, like, the, the, the Mantan is in the back, right? And Teal already made a double once. So, like, Porsche can potentially predict Teal the double if he doubles again. So this is kind of a 50-50 type of thing. Oh, by the way, this this um, this Weeble is most likely not, I was about to say, it's not banned because the knockoff damage on the landers wasn't that much. It wasn't intimidated when it came in. And now he SD'd up, and that means this is most likely Z move we were. So we get more information about Porsche's team. That means this Zygarde is most likely banded. And by the way, I uh, uploaded a few weeks ago a Blunder replay where it was SD we were with Z all out pummeling, and it was Z focus punch. And I said that it was um, potentially Z low kick. I just didn't know that we were learns Z focus punch because, like, it makes sense for it to run that because, like, Z focus punch is so strong. Um, yeah, the Mawal just dies, Sucker Punch is not able to kill that. See, this is what I'm talking about, if he just went to Mawal, he, that, that wouldn't have happened. Yeah, he, ch he just sacks the Weeble there, um, he would have died to rocks. He could have just ca still kept it and went hard to Mantan there, because um, Teal was kind of forced to just either figure it out or Scald there. Um, yeah, so now Teal is forced to switch, um, Porsche can just go for Scald here. He can also default, but I think he still wants to keep rocks up, so just Scalding turn the burn the Megina is a fine play. Mm -hmm. And I think Teal is gonna Flurkan here because earlier he already Volt Switched. Uh, the thing is, Porsche can either Roost here because then he loses its Flying type and Volt Switch doesn't do much. And it also covers the Flurkan play. Yeah, I would have most likely Roosted there if I was Porsche. I think Mantan is faster than Navy Gear. Navy Gear usually runs also um, either Fafi or like Nega. Like, it doesn't run max speed IVs because you wanna outslow uh, opposing Sadistila so you can get, get a slow Volt Switch. Like, when they're Leech Seed, you wanna get a slow Volt Switch with your AV Megiana, right? And, um, so you turns out. Uh, I got interrupted there, that's like tough. This kinda brought me out of the thing, out of the, out of the flow, man, it was annoying. Uh, yeah, he was forced to switch because his gear was at minus two. The Jirachi's U turns, um, that was completely free there. Yeah, there was no point in Iron Heading into the Landorus. And like, if the gears, like, uh, he could have, like, technically stayed in and Volt Switch predicted in the, the U turn, but then Porsche still could have gone into Landorus. So, like, I completely um, understand why Porsche U turned there. It was free. So, you can just go at the NC and pick up his kill with Moonblast. Uh, not, not pick up his kill, weaken the, weaken the, weaken the Megina. 
Uh, Tito's gonna be forced to go into gear here unless he wants to sack something. Obviously, uh, Hoopa, Ladi, Kelly, and don't want to take a Moonblast, and Landers is in range to die from. So this is probably gonna do like 15%. And yeah, it takes rocks, uh, Moonblast, burn, chip damage. Okay, so it did 13. So he goes into land breaking the Volt Switch there. Teal goes for Flurkin. I'm really surprised that that didn't kill. So the lander most likely has some sort of spadef or that was like a low roll. He he HPI is trying to catch the um, Teal's land though. And Teal Volt Switch, I think, pretty in the u turn Really uh, interesting set of plays. So I think now he's just gonna Earthquake. Yeah, and he kills the gear. And he's gonna be able to go into Lottie here and just click like Psyshock or Psychic. Since the Kelio is um, the confirmed Scarf, it outsped the, the Weeble. This Ladi is either Specs or Z Move. I'm thinking it's um, Z Move and the Hooper is the Specs user. So um, Porsche can just U turn here. If Teal predicts that and stays in, cool play, I guess. Yeah, he can do that. Um, what did he go for? If he, if he Specs, he just went for Psychic again, obviously. And if he Z Move, he could just go for Z Move. And I think Porsche is not going to go Yancy because the Yancy gets a kill whenever it comes in on like Hooper or defensive Lando. So I don't think he would risk his Yancy. So I think he's just going to um, sack off his Zygarde here. Depending on what Teal goes for here, if Teal goes for Psychic, Zygarde is going to be able to live that and revenge it with E speed. Okay, this just go to Zygarde. That makes the most sense, right? Because there's other ones that like, have a bit more value, in my opinion. So he goes for Hydro Vortex, so it was Z Surf most likely. Okay, so that gives us information that the Hooper is pretty much confirmed specs. I mean, it could still be Bandit, but it's not Z Move Hooper because it's Z Move Lottie. So if it's uh, Bandit's E Speed, he can just get the kill here on the Lottie. Um, I'm, I'm trying to figure out why he has Z Surf because I know it supports Morwell because he gets rid of Heatran, but like he already has um, Kelio, Lando, and Hooper that like all beat Heatran. Hmm. What else does these sort of lure in? Yeah, I'm not 100 percent sure. If you know, let me. If you like, know what it's for, let me know in the comments. <laughs> like, I know it's for Hedron. Oh, it's for Tyranitar as well. I'm not sure how much it does to Tyranitar though. Like, you can like prevent getting pursued. If Tyranitar takes some prior damage, you can kill it with Z Surf. So E Speed, I think that Bernard kills the thingy, and now he can go. Uh, probably Hooper here clicks Specs Dark Pulse, pick up a kill. I mean, it doesn't matter what he clicks because um, Porsche is just gonna sack this Zygarde and get some E Speed chip damage. And then if he goes for Dark Pulse, he can go into the Anti. And if he goes for Psychic, he can just go into Scarf, uh, Jirachi, and click U turn. Um, like, he, no matter what, the Anti can come out or Jirachi can come out. For a second, I was talking as if the Hooper is Scarf. I mean, there's like a slight opportunity of the Hooper being Scarf, so going Jirachi over the Anti is always the play. And yeah, he's just gonna U-turn here, obviously, on the Landris, and now the NC gets a kill with Moonblast. I assume that Teal is just gonna sack this Landris. Uh, going to Scuff, he goes in Scuff Kelly here, right? And... What do you do here if you're, if you're partial? I think you still keep the DNs because he gets a kill whenever it comes out in the Hoopa. Um, so I think going Jirachi might be the play. Because if you go Mantine and Teal doubles into Hooper, that might be bad, because Hooper then gets a kill. And if you go D uh, if you go Jirachi, that covers Teal going Hooper. And if he sur and if he goes for the water move like Scald or Hydro Pump, you can then go Mantine afterwards and click Scald because I think the Hooper dies to Scald after Rocks or not even after Rocks. The Hooper is quite low from the E speed from the Zygarde and from the Rocks damage that it took. So yeah, going Jirachi was completely fine because now you go Mantine and you click Scald. And if Hakaldio stays in, you get your Water Absorb. And if the Kaldio switches, the Hooper dies after Rocks to the Scald. So yeah, Porsche pretty much has this game locked up. Just Scald and. Now we can just roost spam to ensure that his Mantine um, picks up the win. I assume there's a Scarf Stone Edge for Volcarona. Yup. So he just roost spams here if he's. Um, yeah, that's the correct play, right? I was about to say if he's good, but it's partial. He won the last S tour. There's no doubt in my mind that he's good, right? He's the GOAT. Shout out to you, Porsche, if you're watching. <laughs> so, like, even just roost spamming is always the play. So, you, like, even if Kelly crits, like, you just. Stone Edge only has 8 PP, right? So like you just make Kelly struggle eventually. Like you don't have to risk anything. It's like just the safest play that like lets you win the game 100% of the time. 
And there's a miss, obviously doesn't matter at that point. So Porsche takes this 2-0, he's in top 8 of S2's 24. And so his dream of defending the title, getting another S2 trophy is still alive. And yeah, Teal um, had a tough opponent and there was like some hacks in game 1, it was rough. He didn't play too bad, I mean Porsche got him. That one turn I think uh, Teal could have gone to Morwell instead of Kelly, I already talked about it. But other than that, he didn't really play bad, like... Porsche is just tough to beat and thank you guys for watching and I'm gonna be back maybe not maybe maybe not later but I'm gonna be back tomorrow with more smoke to uh, uploads or old T I'm not sure what's gonna be coming next I have like some uh, that I've already narrated in the back and I have some that I still have to re-narrate because uh, they were late at night and I wasn't able to narrate over them at the time either because I was because I was tired and there were like people sleeping both thank you guys for watching and peace out friends